friends, this is Gloria Parra and today I have a new process video using the simple set from Simple Stories called Happy New Year. As you can see, this the set is super fun. I love the bold colors, the black and all those pinks, yellows and orange. I want to show you a little. This is a smaller collection, but perfect to document your New Year's photos or resolutions, whatever you like documenting. Okay, I love the numbers here. I really like those. I love the clock and all the fun embellishments. Look at this bold paper, a fun polka dot. You can use these patterns not only for New Year's, but I can imagine this for Disney. I can imagine this for, I don't know. Oh, look at this stripes. That would be wonderful for your teenagers. Lots of opportunities here. This is so Disney. If you can see, it has some some tone on tone stars and that would be wonderful in Disney layouts. So we have here some fun journaling tags and some two by two squares. I love this year at a glance journaling card and the resolutions. A wonderful smaller collection, perfect to document this new year. Okay, so these are the three photos that I will be using of my family. We were at a hotel here. We did a small staycation at a very nice hotel here, and we celebrated the four of us with some friends. So I want to document our fun family celebration. For this layout, I have the following, following idea. Let's start this layout, friends. These are the three main papers that I want to use for this layout. And I want to create a band with my pictures here. I want to create a band in the middle and have all my numbers, my countdown numbers at the bottom. Okay, so I want this confetti. I'm not sure what these little poppers are called, but let's call them confetti poppers. Okay, and I want to use this beautiful star, tone on tone star paper. And I'm gonna put my pictures there. Okay, I'll cut that. I have this, I had to use this paper. Okay, this multicolored lined paper. And I want to use that. I cut it at a half, half an inch and I'm gonna put it on top and on the bottom, creating like a photo strip and I will cut my paper there. So let's see approximately how big my teal pattern paper has to be. Seven and a half inches. So let's cut our teal pattern paper at seven and a half. So that's gonna be, we can take it a little more down here and we can Add our photo, or I mean, sorry, our multicolor pattern paper there, and see the placement of our photos. I want my my middle photo to be this one where we're sitting in the border of the pool. Okay, so I'm looking inward here, and I think that's going to be a nice way to have it. And this pattern paper, the multi line pattern paper at the bottom. Friends, I decided to add a white border to my photos. I thought they got a little lost without the white border. Since I hadn't printed them with a white border, I I just went ahead and add a piece of white cardstock on the back. I always love having white borders on my photos. So I just went and added some white cardstock. Add your double sided adhesive of preference and start adhering your photos. There we go. Now I have my little border strip and I want to see that they match the top and the bottom just, just so they look cleaner and better. You can even add some machine stitching here in the middle or you can add some hand stitching if that's what you 
you like. I will be trimming a little the white there. Okay, now that I have my photos adhered and my strip adhered, I can adhere all this piece to my pattern paper. I love how my photos look there. And I'm going to be adding my adhesive. I'm really liking this scrapbook.com double side double sided tape runner. And let's try to put that it belongs. Remember, don't put your adhesive all the way to the border because we will be tucking some things under. So let's try to leave the borders without adhesive. Okay, now I had the idea. I love this border strip from the sticker sheet and I wanted to place that one under my border here just to give it a little extra pattern there. And I was thinking of adding this quarter inch strips down here. Now all my borders are adhered in place and I have the main structure of the layout done. Okay, I love how colorful this looks. It may be a lot of pattern but we're gonna play with with the embellishments to calm it out a little. But I love how it's looking. I want to create a little cluster down here with all my numbers. Okay, I have all my numbers here. These come from the sticker sheet. Okay, so you can see them all here. I love the countdown. And I've used my wonderful little powder tool to take the stickiness from the stickers. Okay, and now let's start arranging them in a fun little pattern. So I think, just measure with my fingers, I think that's great. Now I have some little elements. I love this clock. It's perfect and I want to tuck it right there under my seven. I have this little stars, confetti stars that I want to place them bursting out of my numbers. So let's try to find a, a good place for them. I also have this party popper. I'm not sure its name, but we can place it here. And we can have this one, this little one have it right here. That way we have a cluster there. Okay, so you see we have this little border down here. I'm gonna place my journaling here and at the top I have another one of this little trays that I'm loving and I want the celebrate piece from the sticker sheet to be my title. I want to place that one here. I want it to be, I don't like it floating up there. I want it to be touching with my border. I have this Happy New Year border. All of this, friends, has been powdered with some baby powder in this container, this EK tool. That's why I can move it around and work how I want it to be placed. I have my other star here that I want to place it there. And I love how festive this page is already looking. So tell me in the comments if you do something special for New Year's. You like celebrating it, going out with a family or friends. We had a very, very family oriented. <laughs> New Year this this year. So there, we're gonna pop everything up with some foam stickers, but just let's look at the placement there. I want to create my three little clusters and I love this resolutions card. I'm gonna cut it a little and I want it placed here. I'm gonna place it there. And I have my little balloon arrangement here 
that I want it coming from the bottom of my photo. So let's play with this a little. And that way we have this three little clusters there. So friends, my first cluster of embellishments down here is ready. If you can see it, it's full of dimension. Super fun, I couldn't love it more. So you, you just play around with your foam adhesive, you layer one on top, the other one on the bottom, and you go to town with your embellishments down here. Okay, so that's our first cluster, and now let's work our magic up here. Let's take out the first one. Now this is like a puzzle, right? I never get it back just the way it was, but let's start adhering our foam stickers, adhesives I mean, and playing with that dimension so we get it just as we want. Okay friends, our top layer cluster is done. You can see it's full of dimension. It looks like if those confetti pieces were popping out of, of our title. I love it, I really love it. And now we only have our journaling spot left, journaling cluster. I went ahead and cut my journaling tag. This tag comes from our cut apart sheet. So I cut it out and cut like the third portion for my top cluster. And this is what I want to do. I want to place my balloon coming out of my picture. I will pop it up with some foam adhesive and I want this piece to come from down here Not sure about that. I like this cheers I think there's some yellow missing here at the at our balloon cluster we have a lot of yellow down here we have yellow up here so maybe we're missing some yellow okay we can put this cheers cheers for the new year Don't forget to check out this collection at your local scrapbook store or I'm sure scrapbook.com has it, the cherry on top, scrapbook generation. I like that. Let's put it there. So we have it there. And now we just need to journal. I also have this color vibe, the brights, and it's a perfect match for this collection. We, Simple Story has this line of basics that's called color vibe, and you really need to check them out. They have basic balls, they have enamel dots, and all this beautiful chipboard pieces. Okay. I was thinking of adding some stars, maybe just to add some, a different, a different finish, you know, a different texture. So maybe I can add a couple stars coming out of my clusters. So don't forget, if you have them in your stash, take this out and use them because they are perfect for this collection. Okay. So that's it, friends. I just need to add a couple little embellishments, my journaling, and, and that's it. I'm done. I hope I will add some still shots of this layout at the end, and I hope you've liked it. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. Check this collection out, and thank you so much for stopping by. This was Gloria Parra for Simple Stories. Until the next time, bye-bye.